Hi, it's Amanda, the creative gardener. This morning, live and direct. Well, not live and direct. You're probably going to be seeing a recording. Anyway, so I've come out this morning, um, first thing. Um, it's really nice to come out and see, you know, what the garden is looking like at first thing before you come out. Um, if I've said that too many times, I apologise. Anyway, so I want to have a check on my okra plants that are growing. I've got about four or five growing and um, they've started to flower and I can see some of the okra coming out. I think we've got two that are ready to be picked and I'm so pleased and shocked. It's, um, yeah, it's really cool. Um, there's lots of jobs that I want to do. Excuse me. The <laughs> there's, um, this is not my usual, uh, anyway. I'm in my own yard, yeah. Um, anyway, so, um, there's, I've got lots to do and what I've learned is that I, I have to um, plan and be focused on specific things that need to be done because you can come out here and I think I shared on my broadleaf time update I become overwhelmed with that plant because it's growing so well so big and I can't even contain I can't contain it I haven't contained it um, and I haven't yet found all the different uses. All I've been doing is taking a piece, moving it, you know, taking, not even cuttings, just as I break it off, I'll put, plant one somewhere. And then within the space, space of a week, it seems like it's just overgrown. So um, with the broadleaf thyme, I'm utilizing it in the cooking, has mulch, breaking it down, planting it in places that it grows really quickly. So I want to see not only greenery there, it's stopping the weeds from taking over. It's taking over. Um, but it's got a use. So that's my kind of, you know, not argument to myself, but that's what I've been telling myself. It's got a use, and um, which is a multiple. So um, wherever... I was going to sing that song, wherever I lay my hat, that's my home. So wherever I put it, that's its home temporarily. And I will be able to, you know, cut it back if I need to um, in the areas. I put it in some areas that I want to kind of, yeah, just keep the grass down. Anyway, I know that there are other ways, just, but this is one way. I just love seeing plants grow. Anyway, so that's not what I've come out to talk about. I came to talk about my okra plants. Okay, here's the see. okra flower. And I have four plants growing here. And I've got two growing here. And that one has got some flat, that's got a flower in it. Okay, so they all were planted at the same time. But the ones on this side are, have, have been doing a lot better than the ones on this side. And what you can see around it is um, the Mexican sunflower, which is this plant here. If you, you, it's, uh, the leaves are a natural fertilizer. So I grow a lot of that here. But it also gives you the beautiful yellow flowers that you can see. There. Okay, so it's so pretty. And that's another really quick growing. It can be invasive. Um, it's a quick growing invasive, <laughs> invasive plant, but if you plant it where you want it specifically, so I've been planting it um, you got a, a, along the back here. I planted this about um, a month and a half ago, six weeks, and it's, look, I mean, I want it as a screen and it's doing its job. It's grown particularly well over here because um, this is where a lot of topsoil was dumped um, after we had to, you know, get rid of, this was covered, the whole place was covered in um, river tamarind trees and just weeds. Um, and so we had to kind of, you know, get rid of all of that. Anyway, so this, the soil over here is particularly rich in nutrients 
and as we come down, we're on a hill, as we come down, it all flows that way. And so that's why I think my broadleaf thyme is doing particularly well um, in spots. Anyway, so let's okra, okra thyme. So look at this, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the size of this. This is one, two, about three inches. Now I never expected it to grow that big. So that one I think is ready. Um, and they say, you know, every few days you can pick them. So um, let's have a look at some of the leaves. If we look at the leaves, they're a bit mottled here. There is some, you know, I think it's the snails or the slugs that have been biting it. So what I've tried to do is put different plants around it. So the leaves of the Mexican sunflower, I put some of the broadleaf thyme leaves um, to kind of confuse whatever thinks there is some food here for it and it will go somewhere else um this is eggplant i think yeah and again where i would have normally planted it um it would have got eaten so i'm glad it's growing well here so i've got three plants here and um let's have a look at the other side so on the other side the leaves are vibrant the leaves are big um, we've got a massive one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wowza. I don't, I don't normally say wowza anyway, so <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying it now. The thing I found on here, so we've got a few growing there. We're going to have quite a few here and I've been feeding it again. Look at the soil, feeding it with the, the, um, Mexican sunflower, just allow it, just cut and drop. And, um, but yeah, it's doing particularly well over here, growing particularly strong. Um, and the thing that I found that I had to deal with was, um, it must have been some sort of aphids because there was lots of ants around the, um, the buds that were coming out. So I dealt with those, just sprayed them with a little bit of um, soap solution and some of the, I'd crush the broadleaf thyme. Um, when you crush them, you get this uh, thyme oil. Uh, thyme oil? Thyme oil? Anyway, <laughs> linalol or thyme oil. Um, and so dropped that around it, crushed it, dropped it around it again to confuse them. And I dropped the juice on the flowers where the ants were. And that's so, yeah, that's done the job. But it's just, yeah, protecting it from the um, the slugs and the snails. And I seem to have combated them. They're kind of grown really strong. And what I'm going to do is plant. And you can see what is here is when I crushed up the leaves, I made sure that there were some that stayed around it because they, uh, you know, obviously the smaller snails are kind of crawling up and then... Um, eating the leaves which we can see on the other side um but yeah just deterring i mean we've still got some ant action there so i'll probably need to come back a bit later on today and apply some more of the the thyme broadleaf thyme juice and the pulp the the, the fibrous bit that, that is left so i'm really pleased excellent job young lady <laughs> so um yeah it's something that's pretty easy to grow um i mean if i can grow any of these things you can grow them what have we got going on there some flies they must have found something i don't know what they found that they're um yeah anyway so i need to get some thyme oil um the broadleaf thyme which i've got masses of it i was cutting cutting it back yesterday um and there's i got i cut all of it not all of it that's just this is just from this plant here and look at it it looks like it hasn't been cut so um i have to go around and just i want to keep the paths clear anyway so what i wanted to show you was my okra and i'm gonna cut these two off i'm gonna cut them off and we're going to have it as part of dinner tonight. Just add it in like a curry type. But, and apparently the more you cut it, 
you know you have to keep cutting it every two days but look that's oh gosh I'm so amazed at the size I never imagined it was going to grow that big so yeah they're going to get cut and they're going to be dinner today all right so um look forward to seeing you soon uh, come back tomorrow and see what i'm going to be talking about next all right bye